I'm going to show you how to get started opening up the paint, all the preparation that you need to paint this concrete wall. One item I do suggest uh, using as far as protection are gloves. Uh, if you're latex intolerant, uh, you can use just regular work gloves. Uh, I'm not, so I'm going to use these. Uh, this will help keep my hands uh, clean, and when I'm through, I just take these off and I'm done. No have, don't have to wash up or anything like that. When covering the floor, you can use either plastic or a tarp of some sort. Some people use sheets, old sheets. Uh, anything works. Use anything that you want on the floor, just as long as the floor is covered and protected from any accidental spills. Just like in any project, the first thing you want to do is have a system. What I do in painting is do a cut-in. Cutting in is simply just framing out the areas that you want to, to paint within. My cut-in start at the floor. I will simply paint the wall at the floor, go up the walls, all the way around, and then fill in the rest of it. So what I do here is just dip my paint brush into the paint, get it good and saturated like so. Then I take the pointed edge and point it down. And I start in the corner, just like so. Now, you can take the brush and work it back and forth. If you are not that skilled in painting, and maybe this is your first time, I would suggest that you start up high and then work your way down, like so. So I just take the point and point it down like that. If you don't feel comfortable with painting uh, freehand, uh, you can mask out, just use a simple masking tape, painter's masking tape like we talked earlier. Just do like so. And you do this all the way around the floor. Again, get the paintbrush wet, start up high, and then work your way down, keeping the point down. See the point there? Just keep it down. Now when working in a corner, you do the same thing. You treat it like two different walls, one on this side and then one on this side as well. So just keep the brush wet, keep the leading edge, or what I call the point, keep the leading edge into the corner to capture that corner and cover it effectively. So you just keep going like this until it's all uh, covered. Again, when, when you're painting in the corner, what you want to do is keep the pointed edge, the leading edge, into the corner. Get the paint in. Get the paintbrush wet. And then work your point into the, into the corner itself. And you do this all the way up. Repeat the process over and over again until it's all covered. Keep the pointed edge into the corner, and that's your leading edge. To me, concrete happens to be one of the hardest surfaces to hand paint. But obviously the fastest way to do any kind of painting on a, on a surface like this is to use a sprayer. It saturates, it gets in there, gets the job done, and then you're in and out. However, if you don't have a sprayer, you've got to do it by hand or by roller. And so we're doing a combination of both. I want you to take a notice here at the 
um, surface that I have here. There's a crease right here. I'm going to let you take a closer look now. Now I'm faced with having to do this particular uh, wall here and it's got some large creases, some large debits inside. So what I'm going to have to do is take my paintbrush and actually push the paint inside here where it's completely covered and the surface is uh, completely covered with paint. Now what I do here is I actually take my paintbrush, I've got a lot of paint on there, and I take the paint tip, paintbrush tip, and push it into the crevice, just like so. And I keep working that surface, keep pushing the paint inside where it's completely covered. Again, you're going to have to take uh, several swipes of this until it's all completely covered in and there's no other color other than the color that you're doing. I'm doing black so I want uh, black ought to be inside every one of these and there's no other color that I see. Now when working with a full nap I'm going to be very careful for any splash back on me so I'm going to go very very slow. And so I'm going to go ahead and the rest of the paint here. Now I see that there are some spaces that my brush can't get into, my roller brush, so I'm going to have to use my paint brush to force the paint into the crevices here in the concrete. So make sure that that's done. And you just go back over, push the paint back into these areas here that are hard to get to on the roller. Once you've done this stroke with the paintbrush, um, go ahead and use the roller brush to go back over that to get the same texture uh, on your wall. Now when uh, painting, I usually do a Z or an N. So sometimes you can just do like this. And you want to paint no more than about a three foot section like so. Go over several different ways, fill her in, and then move on from there. Okay, so as you can tell, the wall's already painted. It does have a sheen to it right now because it's wet. Uh, I did paint this flat, so uh, the luster will go away. I'm going to wait till it dries, come back, and then I'll show you how to fill in the little divots in the wall. Being concrete, this does have a lot of divots, so I'm going to have to come back in and fill it in with the hand paintbrush. As you can tell here, the wall did not get completely covered. It still has the debits in the wall. Uh, that's because the surface is not smooth. So now what I have to do is take my brush and push the paint inside the debits until the wall is completely black. Now that's the final touches on how to paint a concrete wall. This is Rick Patterson with the HandymanToolbox.com.